Hello everyone, this is the Tarot Queen Jamila. I am here to do a general weekly reading for the Leo. Um, this is going to be a five card spread. This is going to be a little bit different from um, the other spreads that I've done. Um, we are going through a crescent waxing moon. So this is an excellent time for a manifestation of anything that you want. This week is so important. Okay, so let's go. Let's see what's going on. Now, this spread is going to be about letting go of the past. Okay, Leo. So let's see what's going on for you this week. It seems like everything might be a little calm for some of you, Leos. Leos are very, very confident and they don't back down from nothing. <laughs> okay, um, these are very relentless people. I should know because I am a Leo rising and. I'm not the type of person that gives up easily. <laughs> so I know how Leos are. <coughs> so this is going to identify blocks that you need to overcome. Blockages are so very important because, you know, these people, you know, these people, this energy, whatever it is, it will definitely <clears throat> put thoughts in your head. And your thought process is really important during manifestation, which is why meditation is so important. So card number one is going to be what you need to throw away. Card number two is going to be what you want to block. Card number three is what action you need to take. And then four is what you need to avoid. And five is what you need to accept. So this is the inevitable. Okay, now this card, this reading is not going to resonate for all of you Leos. Okay, if you want a personalized reading. Make sure that you visit my website, www.thedivinemommy.com. You can also shop for spiritual products. And I am going to be open for readings this week. So my schedule is going to open, you guys, okay? All right, so I'm just going to... Okay, interesting. So for your general reading, we're going to start off with the Six of Wands. So this is what you need to discard, Leo. Now the Six of Wands is some sort of celebration, some sort of public victory. This is what you need to get rid of, Leo. Who cares about what people think? You have nothing to prove. You know who you are. If you go look at the illustration, it is a person um, that is carrying one of the wands, okay? And there's five people, okay, that are holding up their wands. And they're, they're sort of honoring this person. Um, this person is obviously a spiritual being. Well, I mean, we usually all are. But, you know, you can see in the illustrations that it's a very... A grand celebration and um, I think that what this card is saying that you need to discard is the need to be um, the need to care about what other people think why do you care about what other people think this is doing nothing but blocking you okay you should care what people think but the five people that are holding the wand um, at some point, you're going to have to realize that this five, these five people, the number five represents their conflicts with you. Okay, so you don't have anything to prove to these people. So this is what you're going to be getting rid of this week. This is what you want to throw away. Now, what's blocking you is temperance. Okay, your patience is blocking you, Leo. You need to just like literally grab what the fuck you want. Okay, seriously, you've been way too patient. You've been patient enough. Now, I'm not saying that you don't want to block temperance, but her energy, um, you, you might want to, you know, kind of not be so angelic. Okay, this is a week for you to fight. So temperance is saying, you know, it's time for you to really be vigilant about what's going on, whatever the hell it is, whether or not it's a block you know, that you're causing someone else, something from the past. You know, you need to get rid of that. 
Now, card number three is what action you need to take next. And you got the Ace of Wands. This is really interesting. The Ace of Wands is all about pregnancy, babies, you know, celebration, um, a new beginning, a new beginning of a new life. The Ace of Wands is literally like a very masculine card. Okay, so it's really, really masculine because it, it is a wand, okay? And it's also the ace. So this is kind of like an alpha male. But this is also the conception or the birth of a child, in particular a boy. So some of you might either start planning a baby, start really, you might start really feeling the energy from this child that wants to incarnate on this planet. Um, in the illustration, it's so cute. There's actually a veil over the child's face. Um, the, the baby is literally like a pea in the pod. So this is really a very sweet. Then there's also a ladybug on the staff, on the wand that she's carrying, which means that she's lucky. Okay, she's blessed. And if you look at her crown, she's got like these, you know, glowing branches. You know, this woman is very fertile. And so the action that you need to take is to just embrace this, you know, everything about this card is what you would want to do. So this is um, how to proceed. The Ace of Wands is saying, you know, start over, do a new beginning. Okay. And whatever child that you want, that you're planning, you need to do it regardless to what anybody around you says. Um, so that's definitely some good encouragement because I get the sense that some of you Leos are thinking about trying to conceive this week. Or you're thinking about planning, planning it, or you're going to talk about it. Okay, I can definitely see you doing that. And if you're not doing it, you need to start. Um, card number four is what to stay away from. And you got the Ace of Swords. This is really interesting because um, the Ace of Swords is all about mental perception. Okay, so this has to do with your third eye. And, you know, what you would want to avoid is someone, this is what I'm seeing in this card, because the Ace of Swords is an archangel. Arch, archangel, okay? Um, in fact, let me go look at it. Yeah. Um, to me, it looks like an angel. If you look at the, um, the illustration in the Deviant Moon tarot deck of the Ace of Swords, um, there's, she's got wings behind her. So I want you to avoid this person that sort of comes dressed as some beautiful angel um, that kind of wants to fuck up your perception. Sorry for the language. <laughs> Avoid that person. This person uh, wants to use their mental um, power, you know, to cause you to not manifest, you know, your next action or how to proceed. So if going back to card number three, if some of you Leos have been thinking about you know, starting a family, like seriously starting a family, this is what you want to do. Now, the next card is what to avoid. Avoid the Ace of Swords, which is, to me, it's another literal person. You know, this person is coming through as some sort of, you know, angelic being, some sort of wolf in sheep's, sheep's clothing. Um, and this person is going to try to mess with your mental perception, which is why the swords came up. This is conflict. Okay, this person literally only has mild conflict and with you, but it's almost like, you know, they don't have, they really don't have anything against you, more so the situation. Okay, your final card is what to embrace and what to accept. And you've got the page of wands. So this is another literal person. Um, this could be your man. This could be your woman, your partner. You guys know um, it could be you. So the Page of Wands, again, this is a beautiful card because this is about self-worth. You know, when you feel good about yourself, when you know who you are. 
Um, so the Page of Wands, if you look at the illustration, using a pair of handmade stilts, the page boldly treks across an icy pond. Um, you know, undaunted by the inherent risk of his actions, he confronts life's obstacles with youthful optimism and energy. So this is creative thinking, in ingenuity, a genius. This is a very intelligent person. Again, the crescent moon comes up. This person also has the crescent moon on the top of his head. So this is a direct manifestation, okay, because, you know, right now the moon is growing, okay? Um, also being on the ice skates takes skills. So what you want to embrace is your own power, okay? You want to embrace that and you want to accept it. A lot of you Leos are not really accepting the fact that you're special. Also, there is a literal person within this page of wands. There's a message coming this week for you Leos, okay? And you want to embrace this message. It's going to be a positive message. So don't get scared. Okay. Um, let's end this with the Page of Wands and just explain what the Page of Wands represents. We just love the Page so much. He's, he's got so much energy. He's young and virile. You know, so for you ladies, this is your man. Also, this is a springtime card. It's, it's really about having no fear. You know, that innocence of being a child and doing the right thing and kind of embracing that. Embrace the fact that you have this adventurous, energetic, you know, embrace your gifts, your talents. Um, the Page of Wands is a vital indicator. The page suggests good news coming to you from or about a youthful individual. If the card is describing you, Personally, it indicates you possess boundless energy, deep loyalty, and youthful love of learning. Um, it may also point towards a new project you will soon be undertaking. So again, with the, with the Ace of Wands, could indicate baby for some of you, could indicate the birth of a project. So it just really depends. But I would say, you know, there's a lot of things. You got a lot of wands for this week. You got three of them. And they were sort of in a triangle. Okay, the way that this spread lays out. So, um, with the again, with the wands, you know, this is about, you know, personal goals. You know, how you see yourself. How you see the world seeing you. Okay, um, I'm going to wrap it up, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you want a personalized reading, go visit my website. Um, definitely make your, make sure that you subscribe and also thumbs up this video. I'd love to hear from you guys also in the comments about this reading. Let me know if it resonated with you and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.